Sadly, our writing season is over, and that means passes are long gone until next year. We usually have maybe two or three months out of the year to write these passes, and yet, there's just way too much to explore and do them all. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to do them all before I leave this earth, but for now, just take a moment to here to enjoy Hancock Pass, one of the most remarkable trails in Colorado. No, I will not really say beginner friendly, but if you have been riding a few months, you will definitely be okay on this one. We made it. Loops back to uh, St. Elmo. So Hancock Pass is the loop back. There's a few restaurants. There's Frenchie's Cafe. That's the Tin Cup store. I think there's another barbecue down that way. That was good. Thank you. Now there's a small problem. <laughs> I'm not lost or anything, kind of, but now I did a loop to St. Elmo a while back ago. It was almost like two years ago, and I kind of trying to remember where to go. I believe Hancock Pass takes us back. So, yes, I do admit it, I was kind of lost, but not entirely. I knew Hancock Pass was the way back, but long story short, a very common yet long loop is Tin Cup. Hancock Loop is what people usually call it. See, we start off in St. Elmo and then make our way up to Tin Cup Town, eventually going to a pass called Cumberland Pass, which I believe leads to a small mining town called Pitkin. Then... From there, we take we make our way back all the way to Hancock Pass. But this day, we ended up staying the night since it took a lot longer than expected, which was pretty darn awesome because it makes up for great memories and, of course, this is why we call it adventure riding, right? <laughs> I really look at these views. That's pretty. Wow, look at this waterfall. This wasn't even here last time. I think it's just from all the snow that melted. I remember passing by here and I don't think any of this was here. All right guys, so we're almost there to Hancock Pass. Uh, this is still not Hancock Pass. <laughs> I'm walking down to make sure she's okay. Yeah, we're getting it. I think what well, Aubrey got stuck, maybe. We made it, Hancock Pass. Hey, if you ever wonder where Will puts his GoPro, it's on his chin. That's right, it's on my chin. Right here. Right there. Whoo! This is a lot rockier and uh, technical than what I last remembered. This is pretty awesome, the stream. Yeah. So we finally made it. Yep, Hancock Pass. This trail is very rocky, but trust me when I say camera makes it look small. We are going straight downhill, so many of the ledges look covered and small. But I will not say super difficult or really that difficult. I will say it's more of an intermediate ride. But either way, sadly I did not take much footage of Hancock Pass due to my SD card being low on memory. Overall though, this trail was definitely on my top list. I really like these type of rocky trails and passes. But until then, we must wait till next year. Anyways, if you guys like my footage and my content, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell button and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Rock Central, huh? It's all rock. We made it. <laughs> we made it. That's it guys, we're gonna go back to our trucks and call it a day.